Yo guys and welcome back. In this video we're going to be taking a look at Arcade 1UP's new cabinet they're bringing out featuring X-Men vs Street Fighter and Marvel vs Capcom. These games are two iconic games in the Marvel vs series, X-Men vs Street Fighter being my personal favourite out of all of the games. And the interesting thing is that Marvel and Capcom are still speaking about this project. So what could that mean for the future of the Marvel series going forward? Check it out after the intro. Okay guys, I'm actually really excited to see what this is going to look like. Uh, I have seen a few little clips. I think this was released last week, so I'm a little bit behind, but just catching up with things, but we're getting back into work and everything, all the other crazy stuff, what's been going off. Okay, let's hit it. Oh, wow, man. Oh, the original music. These graphics. Holy sh there's two. Two cabinets, okay. Oh my life. Online? Online support? Wow, it's a short trailer, but it's impactful. For a start, the whole thing behind this here, X Men versus Street Fighter being it now now being able to be shown and re released in some state is just incredible. Obviously, when after the original game was released, Fox then got the rights to, as we know, the X Men characters as they did all the films, and this game never existed outside of being able to play it on a PlayStation One or a Sega Saturn. Uh, or obviously um, with emulators down the line, which I, I've played it on a hell of a lot. I've played this game to death. A little bit of a backstory. X-Men vs. Street Fighter, we actually had the arcade machine in our like refectory area in college. So it was the first time I got to play the Versus series and I absolutely fell in love with it. Me and the guys, we spent hours on this game throughout the weeks, finishing it learning different combos with different characters, different combinations with the matchups of the characters. Um, and it also, for me, produced this, which the artwork, I thought, Capcom absolutely nailed um, with the early Versus series. Fantastic. Some of these graphics, man. I mean, the outlandish supers, the crossover, the, the commentary, um, the announcer... The intro, all the flashy lights, it was just, it like took Street Fighter to an entirely new level. The crazy supers, the crazy combos, the crossover attacks, and then of course, we ended up with uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, which again, pff, most people out of the vs. series will prefer Marvel vs. Capcom too. It's the game that probably gets spoke about the most. For me, it was always X-Men vs. Street Fighter. It was the first crossover game. Uh, now, what's interesting here is, out of the two machines, I mean, let's have a look, quick look at these. Look at the artwork on these machines. This is just incredible. Uh, what I do find interesting is that there's two variations. So, on one here, it looks like we've got... Just trying to see the games here. Ah, the Marvel vs. Capcom-inspired cabinet uh, with the graphics for that game actually has Marvel vs. Superheroes vs. Street Fighter on as well. So that, for me, would be the more complete package as you get in all the Versus series t uh, titles in there, early ones, apart from Marvel vs. Capcom 2, which is what I'm going to come to in a, in a little bit, which I find interesting. Um, so on this one, you're getting Marvel Superheroes, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel Superheroes vs. Street Fighter, and Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, on that one there, you're getting X-Men Children of the Atom, instead of which is interesting but these machines look incredible now for me i actually build arcade machines uh, so i've never actually purchased one of the arcade one-up machines just because i've got all these games on on my own at home um and for the price of what these things cost i can actually build one but 
I think I might have to make a purchase. I think I may have to make a purchase because for me, the artwork on these are just different class. Look at that. And I like how on, on one side you've got all the, uh, they've done it so you've got all the Marvel characters on one side and all the Street Fighter characters on the other. This is the machine what I would recommend anybody gets. Is it you, as I said, you're getting Marvel Superheroes versus Street Fighter. Just seeing this title of X-Men versus Street Fighter is uh, incredible. I never thought we would see that out again. They did release a machine with Marvel Superheroes versus Street Fighter, and I think is a limited edition, which sparked a little bit of interest because for a long time, this, uh, especially after Marvel versus Capcom Infinite, and the reason why they couldn't put the X-Men characters in because of the Fox license. Now, Fox doesn't have that license anymore. It seems that Marvel and Capcom are still chatting about this and they realise that it's very important to... You know, there's a big community that still love these games. I, these things will sell like hotcakes. They'll be gone. I'll tell you now. These things will sell. And I think they tested the water with the Marvel Super Heroes one and they made that a special edition. That's completely sold out straight away. Now they're releasing these two, and there is no mention on here of Marvel vs. Capcom 2, which is very interesting. Of course, it's the uh, 20th, 20 year anniversary of Marvel vs. Capcom 2 this year, uh, and that is why there was going to it was going to be going to be an Evo. So it almost seems like they've been building up slightly to something Marvel vs. Capcom related now. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, not let us get too excited. I don't think for a minute we're going to see a new Marvel vs. Capcom game as much as I would love one. However, what I think we may see in some form or another is possibly for the home consoles a Marvel vs. collection. Uh, and it's it's actually funny because when we were streaming the PlayStation 5 event the other night someone was actually in chat and they were saying oh do you think they'll release uh, an, another Street Fighter collection uh, on the next gen and I don't think we're going to see that we recently saw the 30th anniversary of the Street Fighter series where they released all, some of the top titles with online support what I am sort of thinking now and what could possibly be on the cards is either a remake of Marvel 2 like HD remaster that could include the Marvel series collection. Now, when that that could possibly be on this generation, with it being this year that it's the twentieth anniversary. Uh, the other interesting thing about the machines is these. It's actually got online play. Now, I'm hoping that there's some form of Ethernet port in the back of these, because the Wi-Fi would not be great. So, I would imagine there's some form of Ethernet port in the back where you can plug it straight in. Or, as many people have done with these machines when they bought them, uh, they've modded them and you can do all sorts of crazy shit with them. Some people have put like the Raspberry Pis in and all that kind of thing, which uh, the Pandora's box, which I've got in my machine, which will give you thousands of games. Um, but yeah, there's just a lot of, a few more things each time. You know, we had, we had the original Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter Machine. Then we have the announcement of um, uh, there being a Marvel 2 tournament at EVO, which unfortunately was cancelled because of everything what's gone off. Now we've had these machines starting to be produced. And it just seems that... So The saying is there's no smoke without fire. I, I've got a feeling that uh, somewhere we're going to get an announcement. Come on, Marvel. Come on, Capcom. We're going to get an announcement of either... I don't think it'll be a new game, Marvel vs because of what happened with Infinite. Um, but I do have a feeling... I hope I'm not wrong, because I would... These are my favourite games. The Marvel vs. series is just fantastic. Um, I just... Yeah, it'd be great if we could get a collection of some sort on a home console with online support... Especially seen as X Men vs Street Fighter when that came to a home console and it's only ever been on the Saturn version with the four meg cart, fantastic. The PlayStation version, the memory couldn't handle it. It completely destroyed the game because you couldn't even have the crossover. You couldn't even do the crossover moves. You couldn't have the tag team, which was the whole point of the game. So to get it on a home console would be fantastic. Decent online support, uh, decent netcode. Oh wow. 
who knows what might be coming up. We could always pray for it, Marvel vs. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 5. Of all his favourite versus games. So we'll see where this goes. And maybe they may eat, maybe they could release uh, a machine, standalone machine for Marvel vs. 2 because uh, one of the reasons it might not be on here, I'm sure Marvel 2 worked off a different board to the original Marvel vs. Capcom and the, and the games what preceded it due to some of the backgrounds and things. So that could be the restrictions in this. Uh, whether they, that has something to do with price, I couldn't tell you. But fingers crossed. The future is looking a little brighter for Marvel vs. Capcom. So to see more on this thing, to see more arcade goodness and things coming up, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you soon. Peace out.